March 12th, 2024. Just got back from Pizza Hut. Uh, I recall that I almost got the milk, but I liked their thin crust pizza. Uh, the last time I was at Pizza Hut, I had a thin crust pizza for the first time. So this is like the second time. I almost tried Domino's for delivery. But, um, yeah, I decided to go with the Pizza Hut. I almost got the melts. Gotta have it with a nice Corona.
craving having a nice side salad with my pizza. And I thought about going to my local sub shop just to get a salad. Um, the uh, Pizza Hut website. Oh, there's a nice crispy pepperoni. started Minecraft game and then they have this thing called um, well you can you can mine for resources but you have to be your character has to be within a certain amount of blocks if you're familiar with Minecraft of that mining uh, facility so in this particular case, it was mining for iron. So I left the computer on while I went to Pizza Hut to mine for iron. But I was thinking, I'm like, that's an odd feature to have where you have to, they encourage you to keep your computer on and walk away from the computer. It made me wonder whether or not this behind the scenes was actually mining for cryptocurrency somehow. Yeah. 
asking so in the background you wouldn't see it but you would you would share your computer's power with this project so collectively a lot of people sharing their computer gave some computing resources I forget what the project was I don't know if it was astronomy or astrophysics or something or mathematics who knows
that's that's a good size piece there. Oh, that's why I was looking. I wanted to get traditional bone-in wings, and then I said, I read the description for these, and it was, you know, um, chicken breast meat. So I said, that sounds better. Side salad, though. <sighs> Get some nice crunchy pepperoni here. Dessert. I'm all, I'm all uh, deserted out from those uh, moshi. Those were rich. on Pizza Hut website. I didn't want to get a large. I said, I, I don't want a large. And uh, they had a medium. And then they had personal size. And I'm like, what is a personal size? Is that just a slice? And then I'm like, I don't think I want a slice because that means the pizza was made. You know, and then it's just sitting. Like, you go to a local sub shop, they have that, you know, they, they make those a pizza specifically f to cut up into slices to put in to a warming uh, box to sit there for kids that come in from from school and want just a slice of pizza, you know. So, uh, I googled, and a good thing too because it's, it's about this big, they call it the personal size. just trying to think what I had last night for uh, dinner. I realized I had, I'm still, I'm still eating the, the batch of chili I made. I put one in a very big uh, plastic storage bag, which probably wasn't a good idea, but I only had one sandwich size, excuse me, storage bag left. So I, I took that one out, and I, I'm like, how do I? Do? It was a, it was still, you know. I really filled the the 
the back up as much as I could and still be able to, to seal it. So I'm like, how am I gonna, um, you know, defrost this? I was going to put it in the microwave, but I decided to put it into a warm bath. It didn't take long. So once, once it was, you know, thawed out, I then put it into a, a small pan and um, heated it up. My microwave, I went, you know, like I always do, I don't use the microwave except for warming things up. I don't cook per se. I think that's what most people use it for. But the way it's the height it is, you know, it's a good, I would say maybe 30 inches off the stove burner. Maybe more. I think it's under a meter. But, um, so I'm always using the bottom of the handle. So I go to open up the microwave and the handle comes off. Bro, bro, the, the plastic is brittle. And, uh, I think that microwave's less than, maybe it's five, seven years old. All the plastic is brittle from the, you know, I'm always using the burner that's right underneath that, but it's, like I said, it's a good two feet away from that. And, uh, of course, it has a lot of grease on it, too. I don't know how the grease must go up with the uh, with the uh, uh, the steam, you know. But I'm like, there's no way to just change that handle. I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna clean it off real good, and then uh, I'm just gonna get like a two-part epoxy. I was either gonna just put, you know, some type of knob out of the hardware section from Home Depot and uh, glue it onto the door or then later on I said maybe I can somehow build something around that like a foundation to enclose epoxy but if I get a quick acting two part epoxy I can dab it on make little batches and build up see it uh, probably have to uh, sand it to uh, get a rough surface around where the handle attaches to the door and then epoxy it. I had that happen with a guitar stand. I had this guitar stand and uh, one day I'm in my room and something, I wasn't doing anything, I was reading or on the computer and all of a sudden something fell on the ground and I'm like, what was that? and didn't want to spend any time investigating. I just thought, what, what just happened? And then later on, I found out that the uh, a piece of plastic for like an adjustment knob on the, the stand just fell off. And when I went to investigate, it was like, you know, I went to touch a, a pine tree with all the sap on it, the plastic, was disintegrating. It was whoever made it did not make plastic. Isn't that in um, that Dustin Hoffman movie? Um, wow, the movie he became famous for. Wow, I can't believe I can't remember that movie. The famous scene where. Um, the woman's trying to seduce him and they have the camera angle through her bent knee. Um, wow. That's a famous movie. Anyways, he's at a party and this guy comes up to him and says, I got one word for you. Isn't that that movie? He goes, I got one word for you. And he says, plastics. So they've been making plastics for a long time. 
There's no excuse for not knowing how to make plastic. just went to say uh, I like that crispy um, pepperoni just as I went to say that it went down the wrong the wrong pipe you can't stop me that's like that's like what a, <laughs> that's a classic scene in King of Queens where uh, Doug comes home with um, with the food and um, he only he, they open up the bag and he, he only has his food he doesn't have his um, his wife's food which like, another name escapes me um so she's all upset. He's like, well, you know, that's that's kind of too bad. <laughs> no empathy whatsoever. And he starts eating his food. So Carrie, Carrie goes, uh, they, get, they start getting into a heated argument. And because um, Doug only has his food and he could care less that uh, they didn't put Carrie's order in the bag. So, so finally... Um, it comes to her taking a can of, um, like, um, air freshener and spraying it on his food and his face. And he's like, you can't stop me. And he keeps on eating. And she just gives up. So I don't know if, you, if I got that down about King of Queens and the story about Carrie spraying air freshener in Doug's face when he didn't, uh, Carrie didn't get her order when he came home with the food. They forgot her order. Just rehashing because I don't know if the camera picked it up or not. But there's so much pepperoni on this. I was saying that this pepperoni sitting on top of pepperoni. So that pepperoni is not welded into the cheese. So it's just sitting on top of the pepperoni, separated by the grease, so it never attached to anything. And it almost was like it's, it's air fried pepperoni. So I'm searching for all those unconnected pepperonis. Got another one. How many can I find? Got another one. Oh wow. Jackpot. Ah, that, that qualifies. That was just very slightly attached. There's another one. I think I got them all. 
I know why. So an actor that was in this soap opera uh, passed away yesterday, I think, or recently. And it was called, I think it was called Ryan's Hope. And I never, you know, I wasn't a big soap opera th uh, fan. I never watched soap operas. But if you grow, grew up during the 60s, you grew up with hearing a soap opera in the background on TV hearing a commercial for a soap opera, hearing the beginning theme song of a soap opera, and I don't recall ever hearing that soap opera. And um, I meant to look up her name, the actress in there. She's very young. She's, um, oh, that's, that's who it is. No, is that, the, is that it? What is her name? You know that, I'm going off on a tangent here. You know that famous, there's, uh, there's, there's, there's a bunch of scenes people have put together uh, of uh, outtakes of like uh, bloopers and one of them, she's a famous actress. I think that, no, that's not her. She reminds me of her, I can't remember. Anyways, never mind. I can't, I see her young, I can't picture her. What she looks like today, or what she's been in. Like, even as, it's not, it's, you know, what is her name? I'm thinking of, uh, Saturday Night Live, I mean, way back Saturday Night Live with uh, uh, Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase, and uh, yeah, that's not her. That's funny because that's why it's throwing me off because I'd never seen this actress that young. Anyways, I, the guy that died was the bartender for this and the soap opera Ryan's Hope. So I ended up watching some of it because I'm like, let me see this video. Let me see this uh, soap opera. I never recall watching this or I would have thought I would have caught or have a memory of, of seeing a commercial for this. I think it, it was, it ran for maybe 10 years. I think I recall more than 10 years. It was like from 75 to surprisingly, I thought it said 89. But there's no, it's not available. I was reading the comments, it's not available on DVD or anything, and uh, a lot of people are reminiscing that they watched that that uh, soap opera, and now you can only watch it on YouTube at 720p. The odd thing was, I thought it was odd, is that they actually ran commercials in the same resolution if you watched that YouTube video. Smells really good. I could have had this. 
just this and a side salad, I would have been satisfied.
thanks to all my PayPal contributors, and thank you for using the Amazon affiliate link in the description to get you over to Amazon to make any of your uh, purchases that you planned on making. That way I get a slight commission at no additional cost to you. Uh, if you were going to go to, over to Amazon anyways, it's a really easy way to help support the channel. So thanks again everyone. pizza. I like their boneless chicken breast, chicken wings. And um, that was delicious. So until next video everyone, thanks for watching.